Hey everybody, welcome back to FlagandBanner.com's YouTube channel. My name is Grady. Today I'm going to try and show you how to replace your rope on your flagpole without having to go to the top and feed it through the pulley with an expensive bucket truck. You can do this prior to it breaking or just as it, uh, you know, if it's dry rotted or um, starts to show wear, usually it's discolored and very brittle and that would be the time to replace it. So after you've removed your flag off the snap hooks, you'll lower it down so that the snap hooks and the pulley don't have any obstructions in, in between so that when you attach the new rope to the old rope and you pull it up, there's nothing in between. So you pull this down until you've got clean rope. And then I like to take this old rope put a piece of duct tape on it so that when I cut it, it doesn't fray and it stays smooth so that when you feed it through the pulley, it doesn't get hung up. So I'm gonna wrap this with duct tape. Then I'll take the scissors and just cut the rope. We'll lay this part down. So now I've got a clean piece of old rope that'll go straight through. You want to make sure and hang on to this so it doesn't, um, for some reason, get away from you and go up to the um, top of the pole and then you're back to renting a bucket truck. I'm just going to tape that on there real quick to hold it in place. I'll get a new piece of tape to connect my new rope to the old rope. So I'm gonna take the old rope, it still has some duct tape on it. I'm gonna put half of this piece of duct tape on the old rope, the other half end to end with the new rope, and then just wrap the tape around it as smooth as I can so that there's as few creases and bumps as possible is you want this diameter of this tape to be pretty much the same diameter as your rope so that when you pull it up it goes through the pulley smoothly so we'll take that piece of tape off and now I've got old rope new rope so we hoist it up and here when you get to the top and you're feeding this part that's a little bit thicker through the pulley you want to pull it fairly gently and take your time getting it through. And once it pops through, you'll have clean rope to go through and it'll go smoothly. So you pull it all the way down. You get to where your new and your old rope are connected. Go ahead and pull it all, all the way till you've got the rope you want. And then you'll be able to cut your old rope from the new. And you're ready to go with all new rope. So once you've got that in place, you'll take the two ends and we'll get these fairly even and we're just gonna tie them together. Now, right over left, left over right, traditional square knot. Then you take your loose ends half hitch, half hitch, pull that tight. Now you can even take a little more tape just to hold them in place. One more over here. Now what I like to do is I want my snap hooks on the outside rope, not the inside rope. So I'm gonna take the rope and hoist the knot all the way to the top of my pole so that when I, and I'm putting my snap hooks of the flag down here, so that when I hoist the flag up, 
my knots way down here tied off to the cleat so there's no pressure on this knot um, over time flapping in the wind. So I bring the knot all the way to the top. I take my snap hooks. We take the outside rope, double it up, send it through the hole on the snap hook, loop it all the way over itself, pull that tight, and then just snug it down and pull on it a little bit. Over time, that's gonna get tighter and tighter as the wind pulls on it. So we'll go down about three feet. We'll get our second snap hook. Double it up, the rope, feed it through the hole, loop it over the whole thing, pull it tight, snug it down, pull it a little bit. Go ahead and hoist this up and take a look at it. So we've got our snap hook spaced apart for our three foot flag. We've got our rope with the complete opposite end so that when we hoist this all the way up, tie it off to our cleat, there's no stress on the ropes. Snap hooks are in place. You've got a brand new rope ready to go. No need for an expensive bucket truck. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of our tutorials. Thanks again. Thank you.